was a blistering live performance from Prolapse live on stage at the Camden Call. Do you understand? This is uh, Mick and Linda from Prolapse, by the way. Um, do you, what is the Camden Call all about? Have you got any... I think it's um, it's a way of getting 20 bands or however many bands playing on one night. So for a bargain price, people can go see as many bands as they like, and you get a free CD. And it's just the biggest music bargain I've ever heard of, to be honest. What's Prolapse's place in all of it then, Mick? Um, in what way? In what way? Whatever way you choose to do. Uh, um, why are you doing it? We just, I don't know. We should have done it last year, really, but. We sort of haven't played in London for a bit. Um, I don't know, we sort of get lumped in with a yeah. underground London indie sort of circuit and I don't know, it's a bit of fun really. We thought we'd perpetrate that myth by playing the Camden Crawl. Well, what's wrong with being lumped into the London underground, underground indie scene? I think it's all right. Yeah, kind of, you know, that danger of falling into a, a category, you know, a lot of Bands, you know, press say, oh, it's a, a Camden band or whatever. We just not really like that. We're just sort of there. We just exist. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a mistake, really, because we're not from London. None of us are from London. We're from the Midlands and the North, you know. So it's just, I don't know why we get lumped in with this London thing, but. I don't it's know. actually bloody rude to put, lump you in with that yeah. underground London indie scene. You've just got to talk to us here. I do apologise. I did mean that in a sort of derogatory sense. Well, I think that's perfectly right. So, um, the, uh, thank you very much. Um, Prolapse live on stage again, and then after that, you, what do you want to see as your request video? I would like to see My Bloody Valentine, you made me realise. But that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. I never have a say anyway, so that's fine. So the rest of the band can take the mick out of it. Because that's all I listen to. Nice pun, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Prolapse. <laughs> We're joined by Mick and Linda from Prolapse. Um, what's Prolapse up to at the moment, recording-wise and uh, tours and all of that? Well, we've just come back from New York, which was pretty good. Played a couple of gigs over there, but we're sort of in between deals at the moment. So we're trying to, you know, get something sorted out there. And then as soon as we come out of being bankrupt, we're going to start um, recording towards the end of the year, November-ish. You're bankrupt. Well, we're not bankrupt. There's just nothing in the bank. So I mean. Well, Mick's bankrupt, but, you know, it's just, we've got nothing in the bank at all. And, of course, you know, recording, expensive business, so we've got to get some money and then we'll start recording again. On um, Lissy's, which is a song off our last mini-album that we did, and it's, re gonna, it's remixed by Dose, who's worked with, I know he's done stuff with The Fall, but that's it's quite sort of different, um, bit, of a, bit of a dance groove going on. Very different, very different. It's a, it's, it's dancey thing, a dancey thing. It's not my forte, I don't really know how to describe it really, it's just uh, dance. Spice Girls, Spice Girls type thing. Me, I'm like wearing a dress and all that. Do Prolapse like a dance when you're all at home? Do you, are, you, are you a dancing band? Well, it's funny you should say that, you know, because the other day my cats were really playing up and I was listening to, to a CD and I started to do an aerobics dance, you know, just really repetitive in the middle of the floor, just to quieten down the cats. And sure enough, for about ten minutes they just sat and looked at me like this, you know, it really worked. So I don't know about anybody else, but I think dancing kind of calms down your pets. Was it the shock? I think it probably was a shock, yeah, you know, I got up from my sofa where I normally just watch the telly all the time and started doing aerobics in the middle of the floor and it was the shock, yeah. Mick, do you dance? Not anymore. I just never got the opportunity, you know, I used to spend, I don't know, five years ago or whatever, going to every indie 
indie pop type disco going when I lived in Leicester, but it's, it's no, not anymore really. So I'd like to. It's hard to find the right moves, isn't it, for those for those indie pop numbers? Yeah, I'm stuck in the past. You know, I'm stuck in 1986. Well, if you're a boy, I think. So if you're a girl, you can sort of go like that and look like yeah. a girl. But boys have to sort of not look like a girl. And it's kind of difficult. Mind you, Mick's got that, that fringe thing going on, so you can do, you can do the, the odd, odd flick thing. That's handy. Oh, yeah, well, that's how I know. That's, uh, that's the wind-up sign we're getting. So this is Mick and Linda from Prolapse. When's that record coming out, or is it out, the single? It's not, that's not, I think it's maybe the end of the year. Uh, I'm not too sure, really. Hopefully. And then when you get signed up again, there'll be a record after oh, that. definitely, oh. definitely. January. Okay. Um, here's Doorstop Rhythmic Block from Prolapse. Well, that's what it's written down there. What's, what's, how do you say it? Doorstop. Doorstop rhythmic block. Is that what I said? I think you said doorstrop. No, no, no. no. It's I just prefer a, that anyway. I'm <laughs> just, just trying to get a bit of tea stuck in <laughs> Prolapse. 